As a sales manager, you should have a clear picture of your sales scenario over the course of a year. And if you want to get a detailed graph of your sales figures, then using a clustered stack per chart is a great option. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VV tutorial helpline. This is Hadi Urbasher and today I'll demonstrate how to create a clustered stacked per chart in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Let's quickly refresh our idea about the cluster stacked per chart. A cluster stacked per chart contains clusters of columns or bars which are stacked in each column or bar. It is one of the most commonly used charts in Excel. This is a clustered stacked per chart. In this tutorial, I will show you the detailed process of creating this chart from scratch. Let's talk about the data set first. Here we have a reason why sales data of a company for two years 2021 and 2022. And the sales figures are divided into four quarters. In this data set, in column B, you will find the year. In column C, you will find the reason. And here, quarter is represented by Q. In column D, you will find quarter 1 sales figures. In column E, you will find Q2 data. In column F, you will find the Q3 data. And finally, in column G, you will find the Q4 data. I will create a clustered stacked per chart using this data set. So select the cells C4 to G12. Then move to the Insert tab. From the Charts section, click on Insert Column or Bar Chart. This opens different options of column and bar chart. You can choose any chart according to your choice. In my case, from the 2D column, I will choose the Stacked column. This is the clustered stacked per chart. Here, the quarter wise sales data are stacked on top of each other to make this stacked per chart. In this chart, the blue color represents the Q1 sales figures, the orange color represents the Q2 sales figures, the ash color represents the Q3 sales figures, and the sales figures of Q4 are represented by the yellow color. If you look closely, you will find the sales figures of the year 2021 to the left side of this graph. On the other hand, the sales figures of the year 2022 are in the right side of this graph. This is the basic view of the chart. You can further customize this chart if you need. For example, you can reduce the column gap width. To do so, right click on any cluster and choose the option Format Data Series. This opens the Format Data Series window. In the Series options, you will find the gap width. You can set the gap width according to your choice. If you want to remove the gap width, then you should set the gap width as 0%. So set it as 0%, and you can see that the gap widths are removed. Now, if you look at the y-axis, you can see that the maximum sales figure is around 80,000. So, you can rescale this y-axis to get a compact view of this chart. To do so, go back to the Format Data Series window and click on this drop-down. From the available options, choose the option Vertical Value Axis. As a result, the Vertical Value Axis is selected. Now, to set the maximum value of this axis, Go to the Format Axis window and choose the option Axis Options. Here you can see that the maximum value is set as 90,000. To change the maximum value, click here. I will set the maximum value as 80,000. Now hit Enter. As a result, you can see that the chart is updated accordingly. You can further customize this Y axis. For example, you can change the number format to add dollar signs. To do so, go back to the Format Axis window and scroll down. Here you will find the number option. Click on this arrow and scroll down a little bit and you can see that the default category is General. To change the category, click on this drop down arrow and choose the option Currency. As a result, you can see that dollar signs are added before the numbers. If you want to change the decimal places, Go to the Decimal Places field and set it as 0. Now hit Enter.
Now you can change the style of this chart. To do so, go to the Chart Design Contextual tab and click on this drop down icon. And here you will find different available styles of this chart. You can choose any style according to your choice. In my case, I'll stick with the default style. Also, you can change the color of this chart. Click on the Change Colors option. And here you will find different available colors to set in your chart. You can choose any color according to your choice. However, I'll stick with the default color. Now, you can further customize this chart to distinguish the quarter wise sales figures. For that reason, click on any cluster, then Move to the Format Data Series window. Here in the Series options, click on Fill and Line. As I will add border around this cluster, so choose the option Border. This opens the options of borders. You can choose any border. In my case, I'll choose the solid line. As a result, solid line borders are added around cluster 4, that is Q4, and Q4 is distinguished now. You can change the border width. So go to the border width field and set it as one point. Similarly, to add borders around Q3, select the cluster of Q3, then select the option solid line and set the border width as one point. Next, set border around Q2. So click on the cluster of Q2, then repeat the process. Choose the solid line and set the width as one point. Finally, to add borders around Q1, select the cluster of Q1, then choose the option solid line and set the border width as one point. However, the border around Q1 is not visible. To make the border visible, I need to change the fill color. You can change the fill color from the fill option. Alternatively, you can go to the home tab from the font section. You can click on the drop down icon of fill color and here you will find different available colors to set as the fill color of Q1. You can choose any color according to your choice. In my case, I will choose this shade of gray. As a result, the fill color is changed. Our chart is somewhat complete now. We can set the chart title now. So click on this chart title and set the chart title as clustered stacked bar of sales. This completes our chart. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating a clustered stacked bar chart in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blog, or you can share your Excel-related issues in our Exceldemy forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.